Hello and welcome to Bay One. This is Rafael Maraxi, and today we're going to be taking a little bit more in-depth look at the construction of the dragon that I'm working on. Um, I've done a little bit of reworking of the design since the preview video. There's still a lot of structural components that need to be done, uh, but let's actually just take a look in the head here. Um, I might actually stick with this head design. It kind of works for what we need. Um, but if we open up this, uh, there's some weight optimization that still needs to be done here. Uh, we'll get to that eventually. Can I even get in? There we go. Nope. There we go. So I've got these little red blocks here which kind of act as like a tongue design. Uh, this is weight optimization down here where you've got that block. Right, just to knock out a little bit of the weight there, and we're doing the same on the roof of the mouth. Um, I think I already did this block here, or did I? Nope. Okay, let's adjust that one. Okay, um, and yeah, a lot of the design of this kind of bot is really about finding out ways to reduce the mess where possible. Uh, it's not always... Um, you can't always do it, but yeah. So those are all proper cubes, they need to be switched out. Important thing is to make sure that you don't actually impact anything that's you being used as an anchor for the rest of the design. Uh, so that's go and the same with that one and then we got that block that can be switched out hopefully that's not being used as an anchor uh, I can't do anything with this block until we replace until we put on the little these bits here and then we'll actually be able to grab a prism take that so it's not actually connected properly, but it looks like it. And we can do the same thing on this side here. Uh, if it becomes a structural issue where it just keeps uh, getting blown off, then we can remove that and put an actual structural connector. But we'll see if that's a problem or not. Uh, again, on these blocks, these are ones that can be optimized. Uh, they're not actually going to have anything really connected to them. Actually, I probably want to do this. Yeah, we want that connected like this. And inside here, you can actually see where... Oh, this is one of the caveats of doing this. Uh, I've now disconnected the helium from actually having any kind of real connectors. Um, hmm... So for that, I'm actually just going to need to grab one of those, and then suddenly it's reconnected. So I've still saved half a block or so. Um, we've done those. Nothing to do down here. That block we're probably going to leave in, because we're starting to get to some more... Yeah, that's actually going to have to stay, because that's... It's not really a connector there, but it's kind of important. Um, and again with these hover blades. So I'll put these hover blades back in because they help with um, just keeping it a little bit stable and enabling it to move forward more easily. Uh, there were some thrusters that we had at the front here. These have been moved to the back. And so, yeah, um, yeah, those have already been converted over. So now it's a matter of trying to... Um, connect things together. So we've got this block here, and so that we've actually got a connection point between the bottom and the top, we want that counter-rotated as so. Uh, we'll do the same on this side. And we're not going to be able to put one in like that, but we should be able to fit a block in sideways. There we go. Yeah, with this one I'm not actually working from any kind of plan, so there's going to be a lot of build and rebuild until I get the finalised design down. Um, 
Um, but yeah, at the moment I'm just trying to work on fleshing out the actual dragon frame. And here we've got an option that we can either go for... Um, how do we want to do this? Yeah, pretty much... I could go for these. Because that would allow... Me to slip that down. Uh, but I actually want to make that look like it's a little bit more connected, and I can do that by using prisms. So like this. Um, or actually, do we need to really connect that to... Right here. Yeah, we want a connection point on the back. So we're going to actually put these prisms in as so. And now we can switch to using those blocks. No, we can't because I don't have the space. And use it there, a couple of these. Okay, that kind of makes it into like a hump that mounts the wings. That that will work. That'll do. There. That's kind of working. Um, and now you've got this particular section underneath the wings here. Um, I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this. We don't have the... oh, we've got the arm on this side, which I'm working on. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do to actually build the arm out. Then let's grab these prisms. Back one, there. Yeah, sorry if my explanations aren't exactly that um, specific. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of this, the design side of things, comes down to just playing and working until you get something that just works. Um, yeah, so I want to try and make this look like some kind of reasonably strong claw type thing. Uh, let's. Place that one, we can grab another of these. This is going to be a little bit of a weird connecting one. Actually, we probably want to put that up like that. Yeah, um, we're going to want to grab another one of those. That can go here. Yes. Arms are gonna look weird as shit. Yeah, I can't really do anything with that one. Um, but we can... Grab one of these. Change the claws into something more like that. Same there. And to reduce weight again. Along those lines, uh, I'm probably going to need to do a lot more work to actually make that workable, but um, it's an improvement, I think. But I've now I've got one anchor point. I need to get a second anchor point there to actually hold that on. Um, this is actually probably... yeah, let's change these. Oh, wrong type. There we go. I can't really do anything about that block. I need that there to hold the wing on. Um, actually, 
Yeah, let's switch. Yeah, that's better. Under arms. Yeah, those arms look a little bit big. Doesn't need that elbow thing on there. Yeah, let's dump that. Extra weight as well, which we just don't need on this. And this is actually going to need to be brought forward a little bit. I don't like that. Hmm. Trying to work out what I need to do to actually get this to come out at an angle. Because I want the guns to be able to fire behind a little bit. Um... Still not happy with this, it's no improvement over what I was doing before there. Um, but if I can actually use the plasma weapons as the hands, that might work. Um, but given that we're going to be a tier 8 design anyway. If I can... yeah, let's see if I can actually mount this upside down. I know I'm going to have to do some work with the legs here. Let's take this leg off, it's getting in the way. Oops, didn't mean to take the rear wing off. Okay, that can work. Hmm. Alright, we've got an option. I'm going to leave that there, and let's build out a block so that I can at least test that on the other side. Um. Is that the same distance? Yeah. Not going to work with that leg in place, so... Hmm. Well, the legs are something that I've also got to take a look at as well. Um, so we've got the arm mount, which is going to kind of be there. Arm mount's going to come back a little bit more. Leg mount is starting there, but we probably want to actually curve this back a bit more. The legs aren't really going to be functional on this, they're uh, more for display, so... Okay, so we can now fix that, or fit that, so let's swap those. Okay, and then grab some more of these prisms. That one can be calm like that. This can be turned into... Them. Yeah, that can actually be moved up one. There we go. Um, so that one pulls back. We then use those mounted there to actually start the leg down and probably do a little bit more to facilitate that. 
So the legs don't really need to be functional. I think that's one of the keys we have to, or things we have to keep in mind here. Uh, although they do need to kind of look like they can actually support the weight of a dragon. Which is why that needs to be replaced with one of these. Put that up here. Okay, so that looks more like a lake that could be used. Uh, let's flesh out the inside of this now. Uh, we can probably get rid of that. Oh no, that's used as a connector block. We can't get rid of that. Okay. But we can replace it with a prism instead that can connect those two parts there. That'll do. Okay. Let's put that down. And the same here, it's a matter of replacing heavy blocks of light. We've already done that one there. Um, I don't know, if this isn't actually going to be connected on the inside, then we don't need a heavy block in there. Okay. It's going to get shot off relatively quickly. And the same on these sections. Although for structural reinforcement, let's do the old up and down trick. There we go. Now we can put one of these there. Um, that's actually going to have to become one of these. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. Get that. Put him. Uh. How do we want to do this one? In which case we can change that like that and it's still kind of connected. Okay, that'll work. Ideally, I'd like to be able to put these in instead. Yes, that's a lot better. Okay, so... Yeah, that's pretty much a leg built out. I'm not quite sure I like how the feet themselves actually look. Um... It's a little bit more foot-like. I want something more slim though. Yeah, we can work on that. It's not hugely important at the moment. Meanwhile, um, in the world of arms, uh, we've actually given ourselves a little bit more space in which this can potentially be moved back a block. And that'll actually make it a lot better in terms of being able to balance weight. Uh, so we could probably bring this in one level. No, that kind of works. Alright, so we now need to ape this design here. 